Hi, today we'll be looking at how do you time out execution in Python. So basically there are three ways to do it. Uh, the first two ways are by using the built-in modules with Python library, standard library, and they are signals and multiprocessing. And the third way is to use a third party library called timeout decorators. And I believe timeout decorators under the hood uses signals and multiprocessing modules. So let's take a look at it. So as you can see out over here, uh, the signal module allows us to set an alarm and basically for that alarm, we can also set a handler. So in this case, as we can see, uh, we have a function called foo, which is running infinitely and just looping over and printing statement. Out over here, we have written a particular handler. And in these two lines, we are specifying the signal and the handler for our code. So basically what happens is after end of the, the five second uh, alarm, this particular handler gets evoked and out over here, what we're doing is we're using an exception, which is saying that, uh, you know, we're out of time. So that's the first method. The second method that we have is the multiprocessing method. And out over here, what we're doing is we're creating a process and then we are starting it. The key important thing to note is this particular line, which is the process dot join of five. Basically what this will do is it will block your main thread uh, from executing uh, or rather the main process uh, from executing. At the same time, the sub process that we have started uh, by means of the function foo will get invoked in the background. So this will time out after five seconds and the subsequent if condition basically handles and terminates the running process that we have. So that's another way by which we are timing out. And the last way is the simplest of them all. Basically, we just decorate the function that we want to time out with the interval that we want to time out on. So that should be it. Next time when you're writing a code that involves you timing out, you can also use the built-in timeout command for Linux. But if, you do, if you're not on uh, Linux, you can probably use one of these three methods to time out your code. Now bear in mind, this is different from your sleep because sleep, what it will do is it will suspend the execution of the entire process, right? Now this is not what we want to do. What you want to do is we want it to we want it to basically execute for a certain point in time and then you want to discontinue it. Typical examples of timeout is basically have a watchdog timers and let's say you have a critical piece of code that you're sure won't exceed X amount of seconds and for whatever reason or whatever exception, if it exceeds that point in time, you're better off timing out than continuing with that faulty code. So hopefully this tips helps you. Take care. Bye-bye.